Hi everyone, it's Phil again from Ashland Leather and we're back with day number three for Dad's Week. And today I wanted to show you the difference between marbled shell cordovan, reverse shell cordovan, inverted shell cordovan, as well as psychedelic shell cordovan. And let's start off first by talking about marbled shell cordovan. Each piece of marbled shell cordovan is a little bit different. In my hand here I have a Johnny the Fox and marbled black shell cordovan. And you can see this piece has a little bit more orange compared to the other piece on the table here. Both of these we call black marbled shell cordovan. This finish is achieved by layering on several layers of color, different layers of stain, and then slowly scraping them away in random amounts. And that's how the marbled look comes about. So on the marbled black, we tend to see the color range from a little bit more of this orangey tan down to a slight greenish color, and then even a little bit darker, and then all the colors in between. So this one is a little bit lighter. Let me show you the inside of this Johnny the Fox. We've got some incredible marbled pieces on the front. This is a little bit more subtle than the exterior of the wallet. Let's take a look at the second Johnny the Fox that I have here. We've got these special for our uh, private stock dad's week this week you can see in the back right here it's quite a bit darker it's got a slight bit of green to it and it's very very subtle it sort of ranges from that dark forest green to a very black shade and then towards the left here a little bit more orange again and on the inside we've got more marble shell cordovan for the front two card slots and all the other pieces of shell are the black shell cordovan next let's take a look at reverse shell cordovan and this in my hand here is a piece of reverse color number eight shell cordovan on our bugs moran card holder the reverse cordovan is exactly that it's the reverse side of the shell so if we flip this around this little center piece here is actually the cordovan side. The shell side of the cordovan is the side that most people are familiar with. It's very shiny, very, very smooth. I actually found the reverse side of the leather to also be very appealing. It's got a really nice veg character to it, and then all the random die marks start to show off on that unintended reverse side of the leather. I always found it very interesting, sort of like a Jackson Pollock painting. And then on top of that, we had a lot of customers that were asking us for this stamp right here. And this is the Horween Shell Cordovan ink stamp. Each piece of Cordovan gets stamped one time. So we did make a couple Bugs Moran in the reverse Cordovan, and we have reverse Cordovan on the inside also. I really like the patina that develops on the reverse shell cordovan. And for me, I prefer the reverse cordovan for the interior of wallets. And that's because when this wallet is closed and this rubs together with all of your raised letters and numbers from your credit cards, the leather will actually scuff and scratch itself on each side of the uh, card holders here. But on the reverse shell, I find them to be uh, just a little bit easier to fill in and polish in. And here's another version of cordovan. This leather here is what we call inverted shell cordovan, and this is inverted blue shell cordovan. This is a relatively new version of the cordovan that Horween has been trying out recently. This one's pretty confusing to explain, so bear with me here. We really liked how the reverse side of the Corvin had all those random die marks and all the random die drips, but we thought it'd be interesting to try to get those die marks onto the shell side. And that's what you see here. So what the tannery did to get this look onto the shell side was actually finished it on the back side of the leather. If you look at the center of this wall here, you can see all this blue color. This is the reverse side of the Corvin, and they finished all of the stain onto this reverse side with the intention of getting all the drip marks to be on the shell side. And that's what you see here. I love the look of the inverted blue. We've done some inverted violet before that also looks very, very interesting. You can see that really nice aqua blue sort of drip marks on this particular piece. And it kind of fades to more of these tan sections as well. And little bits of green in there too. On the inside, of course, we've got that reverse piece of the inverted blue. And that's very much a blue shade right in the center, pretty aqua blue in color. And the card holders on this one are inverted blue cordovan as well. I have one more version of the cordovan that I wanna show you. It's another more recent color edition. This is what we've been calling psychedelic shell cordovan. And this one has sort of the magenta, ultraviolet, orangey tan range of the psychedelic shells. They tend to range pretty wildly in color. And I've been calling them all psychedelic although it's gonna become a problem because some of the psychedelic is a little bit more green, some of it's got more orange. Uh, it's gonna be a challenge for me to name them all different versions of psychedelic. So something like this, I would call it psychedelic UV. And it's got a bunch of really cool colors. So on this particular one, you can see these lighter sort of pink shades. 
And then we can also see a little bit of darker, more violet shades. Right here, there's like a little bit of green in it and then some orange spots as well. The way that they come about the psychedelic shell cordovan, I've actually never seen them do it in person, but it's my assumption that they're layering on different layers of color in the same way that they layer on the marble shell cordovan, although this does not have that sort of scraped off marbled look it's a little bit more splotchy for the psychedelic shells on the interior of this one we've got more psychedelic shell cordovan how cool is that and even the piece in the center of the wallet here is also psychedelic shell cordovan although this is a little bit more green and violet as we were talking about a minute ago it's sort of hard for me just to, to distinguish uh, the different color variants on the psychedelic shell so we were looking at the inverted blue here on the fat herbie and by the way all of these are available on the private stock page of the website we also have some other inverted blue that I wanted to show you. We made some really special Johnny the Foxes. And the reason I wanted to show you this one is because of how different this inverted blue is uh, than, uh, than the Fat Herbie here. So the Johnny the Fox in the left, definitely a different look with the drip marks. And that's because they're all random. A little bit less of those lighter tan spots on this wallet, although you can see in the top right, a little bit more of this orangey tan. So we did make this one with some special leather on the inside. This is horsehide latigo on a yellow color and a blue color. It's cobalt blue Dublin actually. So yellow on blue for the interior of this inverted blue Johnny the Fox. And I did make one more inverted blue shell cordovan Johnny the Fox. Check this out. Also a really great look with those sort of drip marks, that blue drip mark on top of a little bit more of like an aqua blue green shade for the undertones of this one. And the inside, I flipped it around and inverted all this too. So we've got blue on top of yellow on one of them and then yellow on top of blue for the other. And I made a couple more blue wallets with that same color combination for the interior. So we've got blue on yellow here, yellow on blue here. And the exterior of these wallets are all the denim blue shell cordovan. So it's a little bit more aqua blue, more of a straight up blue color as opposed to the inverted blue just some of those drip marks. This is more of just a straight blue shade. And here's a look at the second giant of the fox. Again, the denim blue shell cordovan is a more recent color variant from Horween. They were doing intense blue and navy blue shell cordovan before this color. And I just found those darker colors to be a little bit too dark for something like a wallet. It's sort of red is more of a black color, whereas the denim blue shell cordovan definitely has a really nice aqua blue to it. And we're looking at colors of shell cordovan and we're looking at the wild versions of the Cordovan, but this is the most classic version of Shell Cordovan that I currently have. This is color number eight Shell Cordovan, that dark oxblood sort of burgundy shade. And the color eight has become synonymous with the word Cordovan. See, so some people might call this the Cordovan color. And uh, the tanner, he just calls it color number eight. On the inside of this one, we have reverse color eight Shell Cordovan. And the last item of the day I wanted to show you is not a wallet. This is our NATO strap. This is made in black shell cordovan. We actually got some black hardware on this particular piece. So all the keepers on this strap are a matte black finish as well as the buckle is a black finish. And this NATO strap is made from one big long continuous piece of shell cordovan. They're actually pretty difficult for us to get which is why we don't stock NATO straps. We actually have to pick thinner pieces and really long pieces of shell to make the NATO straps out of. Some watches, there's not much distance between the spring bar of the watch and the case of the watch, so we need very thin pieces of leather to fit between that spring bar and the case of the watch. This NATO strap turned out great. I love the blacked out look with all that black stitching, the black hardware, and the black shell cordovan, of course. So thanks for checking out all the different pieces of shell with me today. All of them are really special to me, especially something like this inverted shell because they're all unique. You're never going to find another piece of inverted blue shell cordovan that looks exactly like this, which is what makes them special to me. So thanks for checking it out. All these items are available on the private stock page of our website right now. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.